What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com, and today we're going to talk about Captivate and how the cloud servers stop working. All right, welcome back. So, uh, ironically, I was uh, getting ready to shoot this video. I made the cover uh, for the YouTube, and I said uh, Captivate has stopped working. And uh, it's funny because uh, this was uh, the Skype I sent my business partner the other day. I, it basically said here, Captivate's cloud service no longer available because I noticed it just wasn't working and I went in and started doing a little research online. So now when you click on this link, it actually takes you to this article and Captivate's cloud service has been restored. So um, we're back in business, I guess, uh, with the Captivate cloud service. And uh, this is a very useful tool. I'm gonna sh show you guys, uh, I got this notification last night at 3, 12 in the morning. It was like uh, two minutes ago. Captivate is uh, back, uh, cloud services back working again. Basically, they had written an article that said the a, uh, AI on Instagram had did, done some kind of update and they were able to detect these cloud services and they, you know, the, the way the <laughs> article was written, it was kind of negative and the guy's like, oh, I'll give you, a, I'll have to give you a refund and, you know, you could just tell he was upset about the whole situation and now they're back in business. So, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Captivate, uh, it's a, um, it's a follow, unfollow tool in Instagram. And uh, just to show you guys how well it's working here, we're going to go into um, my Instagram here and I'm going to show you a couple of my accounts. Uh, this account in the last, uh, this account is my personal one here. It's at 9173. Uh, that was at about 5,000 about a year ago, year and a half ago. Uh, this account was at around 6,000 and I've just crossed 15,000 uh, now, 15K followers. And uh, it's actually, uh, a lot of it has to do with this follow unfollow program, Captivate. Here's another account. Uh, this one's just about uh, pushing 10,000 here, 9195. Uh, so it's kind of a race to 10,000 between my personal and this account. Uh, this account actually had a um, nice, uh, uh, nice lead coming through it. Uh, this guy here, I believe, right here. And uh, some guys from the UK hit me up and they just ended up booking a table with me and probably gonna do multiple things with me. Uh, May 10th weekend, so this potential lead could be roughly a thousand dollar, you know, over the course of the whole weekend commission off, off one of these Instagram. So this is just like social proof here that this the system actually works. Uh, I'm just going to go in real quick and show you guys how to use Captivate in case you don't know because it is it is a free tool on the iPhone store and I think for the cloud service you actually have to pay for it. So um, basically, this is Captivate. Um, so the, uh, the captivate here is, um, it's a, basically the, here's the menu. Okay. You, you have to log in. I have the pro license. You can see, uh, at one time the pro license was like two ninety nine. I think it's more now, uh, maybe five ninety nine or something, but it's like one time fee for like lifetime. It's not a lot of money or maybe it's yearly. I don't know, but it's not a lot of money. It's, it's insignificant amount of money, uh, less than the cup of a cup price of a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Okay. So, um, you have two basically queues here. You have what's called your local queue and your pen, your cloud queue. Now the cloud queue is the, the, the pro service that you have to pay for. So if you don't pay for the cloud service, you won't, it may show up here, but it won't, it won't work. Okay. But uh, you can still use it off your phone. So basically um, you can make your phone work while you're sleeping or like while you're not using it, it can be like following or unfollowing people. Okay. So let's start out with, um, following people since I'm in the uh, party niche here a new club in Las Vegas is called chaos so let's go to uh, chaos K O F A S. there it is I'm already following them but now I go over here to the click on the followers and then basically it's gonna pull up usually about 200 pulled up 130 you can just scroll up you can pull up more it'll it'll load more usually it pulls up anywhere from you know a few to a 200 here pulled up about another 100 117 um, all right, so that should be enough to follow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to quick select on the bottom middle. Click that. We're going to select all. Okay, now we've selected all the 247 users. You can see that down over here. And then we're going to do uh, actions, top right. And now we're going to do follow. And now it's going to ask us if we want to do uh, start now. We want to put this into the local queue, which we have some rules set up. Or we want us to put it into the cloud queue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead since I'm going to be using this phone. And I don't want to be running while I'm using it. Uh, it's just kind of annoying if it's like in night mode or whatever. I'm going to put these into the cloud queue. 
So now this is going to follow those 247 people over the next like day or so. Okay, and we can always go back in here. We can also click on the top left to go back, go to the menu, bottom right settings, and if you look in the cloud here, you'll see pending. And there's, uh, well, I got a bunch in here, so I got 939 in the cloud queue. Okay, and you can always uh, cancel all these, and you can erase them if you want, you screw something up. Uh, in the local queue, click on pending, and you can see I have uh, 92 in the pending in the local queue. Uh, now the, the rules here, um, see how my service says active for cloud queue. Um, for the local actions, I have a max action set on 30, um, a little less than the default. Um, I just don't want to, you know, sometimes if you push these Instagram accounts too hard, they're going to put you on like a kind of like a temporary suspension sort of, and you can't follow people, you can't unfollow people and whatnot. So you got to kind of play like the, um, you know, you got to kind of play like the, uh, the, the fine line of what they allow and what they don't allow. So if you want to constantly be unfollowing people and following people, once you get to, uh, this is my personal account here. I'll show you this. Once you get to 7,500, you can't follow anybody more. And if you have these things running when you're at 7,500, it you know Instagram's going to know that there's some you know some you know outside services basically trying to follow people. So right now I'm at 7,087. So I should be okay following a couple hundred people right now uh, before I want to start unfollowing some people. Now this account here, it's at uh, 7,704. So I'm going to want to unfollow some people from this account before I follow anybody else. Okay. Because if you hit 7,500, that's your limit. And then if you keep trying to follow people at 7,500, Instagram's going to be like, yo, you know, what, what are you doing here? So you, it knows you're running some kind of software. And they usually make it so you can't, like, follow and unfollow people for, like, a week sometimes. So they put that kind of, like, suspension on there. So, uh, but that's how you use Captivate, man. It's pretty simple. Uh, I would recommend getting that if you have an Instagram account, go in there and uh, just start playing around with the settings a little bit. Um, it's not, not rocket science. It's just, uh, you know, here's your following. You can unfollow people. Um... It does take a second to load depending on your settings and whatnot. And for some reason, sometimes it doesn't like load like a big amount. Like it only loaded three there. I don't really know the ins and outs of why it does that. But now it'll probably pull up more. So it'll pull up 35. And you just gotta scroll down. It'll pull up more. And then you can unfollow. Get it up to like three, four hundred, and unfollow like three, four hundred. You might want to go through, and what you can do is whitelist people. Like for example, um, if I have uh, somebody on here that let's see, for oh Sunny here, I know her. So we want to. Um, so we select her and then we go to actions top right and we just go add to whitelist and that way she's not going to get unfollowed. Okay, so if you have people that you know personally on here that you don't want to unfollow, uh, you want to you know, stay on there, uh, you want to still get their information on your feed and your stories and whatnot, go ahead and just whitelist them. So that's pretty simple to do. Uh, other than that, I mean that's Captivate in a nutshell. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. Uh, we are back up and running with Captivate, so the title is a little misleading. It is not dead. It is back up and running as of last night at like 3 in the morning. Uh, and if you would leave me a comment below if you learned something today. And if you did like this video, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, bang this uh, notifications bell. I am the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to everybody later. Check out the video over here for free ad credits.